क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी वन से पार्टिकल इज मूविंग इन सर्कुलर पाथ ऑफ रेडियस आर विद कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड वी नॉट इट्स मैग्निट्यूड ऑफ एवरेज वेलॉसिटी वेन इट टर्न थ्रू एन एंगल ऑफ सिक्सटी डिग्री इज डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट एस ड्रॉ डायग्राम टू विजुअलाइज दिस सिचुएशन देर इज सर्कल एंड द पार्टिकल मूव सच दैट it turns through an angle 60 degree in this particular case the displacement would be equal to 2r sin theta by 2 where theta is 60 degree that is 2r sin 30 and hence the displacement will be equal to r let us try to find out the time taken by the particle from this point to this point Dear student, 60 degree means that one sixth of the circumference is completed, which means that time taken will be equal to 2 pi r by 6, that is the distance travelled, by speed, that is v. It will be equal to pi r by 3 v. And hence, the average velocity will be equal to displacement by time, that is r divided by pi r by 3 v. This will be equal to 3 v by pi. and hence the correct answer for this question should be option number 3 now let us proceed to the next question which is question number 42 question number 42 says a man b standing on a cart throws a ball with speed 2 meter per second with respect to himself the cart is moving with a constant speed rightwards at which angle with velocity of cart should the man b throw the ball relative to himself such that the ball moves vertically up with respect to ground dear students we must know that the velocity of ball with respect to ground would be equal to velocity of ball with respect to man plus velocity of man with respect to ground let us represent this through a vector diagram that is the man is moving rightward with a speed of root 3 meters per second let the man throw the ball with a speed of u with respect to himself at an angle of theta as shown in the figure because the ball is moving vertically upward with respect to ground therefore the resultant of this vector and this vector must have no component in the horizontal direction this is possible when u cos theta would be equal to root 3 herein it is given that u is equal to 2 meter per second which means that cos theta is equal to root 3 by 2 this means dear students that theta is equal to 30 degree now dear students we have to find out the angle made by the velocity of the ball with respect to the man with the velocity of the cart that is you have to find out this angle that is alpha we can see that alpha is equal to 180 minus 30 that will be equal to 150 degree and hence the correct answer for this question should be option number 1 Now let us proceed to the next question, which is question number forty-three. Question number forty-three says a particle is moving with a speed ten meter per second on a circular path of radius five meters. The magnitude of change in velocity of the particle in a time interval of eleven by seven second is. Dear student, before proceeding with this question, let us appreciate this fact that eleven by seven seconds is actually equal to pi by two seconds. Now. let us first find out the angular velocity of the particle it will be equal to v by r that will be 10 by 5 that is 2 radians per second now in pi by 2 seconds the angle moved by the particle will be omega into t that is 2 into pi by 2 that is pi seconds now dear students the change in velocity when the particle moves an angle of pi that is 180 degree is equal to 2v substituting the value of v to be 10 we get an answer of 20 meters per second and therefore option number 2 is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 44 question number 44 says a boy is running along east with a speed of 30 meters per second after a certain time duration the boy is observed to be running towards north with a speed 40 meters per second the ratio of magnitude of change in velocity to the change in magnitude of velocity of the boy is dear students it is given that initially the boy is moving towards east with a speed of 30 meters per second 
and after a certain time duration it is moving towards north with a speed of 40 meters per second the change in the velocity that is delta v has a magnitude equal to under root of 40 square plus 30 square that is 50 however the change in the magnitude of velocity which can be written like this is simply 40 minus 30 that will be equal to 10 therefore dear students the required ratio is 50 by 10 that is 5 ratio 1 and hence the option number 2 is the correct answer now let us proceed to the question number 45 question number 45 says two vectors a and b are given such that magnitude of a is equal to magnitude of b the angle between a plus b and a minus b will be dear students a plus b and a minus b vectors are given let us find out the dot product between these vectors it will be equal to a dot a minus a dot b plus b dot a minus b dot b now since a dot b and b dot are equal these two get cancelled out and it will be equal to a square minus b square in the question it is given that a and b have same magnitudes which means that the final answer would be zero now the students since the dot product of these two vectors is equal to zero it simply means that the angle between these two vectors is 90 degree that is these vectors are perpendicular to each other the correct answer therefore for this question is option number four dear students this concludes the discussion on this particular test i hope you understood all the questions correctly i wish you all the best for your future endeavors and god bless you all mm -hmm.